Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to take a look at a Marauder Task Force figure that I am building. So this basically is, I'll give you the description for this figure. This is MTF Mel Trooper body without head, green suit with tan shirt with black tie, agency ops, light skin tone, 118 scale Marauder Task Force action figure. So that is actual description. If you go to the website and decide you want to build this figure. So I also have a head in his hat that we will take a look at. And I will put down in the comments the three pieces if you would like to recreate this figure for yourself. So this is what you get here. It's just basically, like I said, it's a green suit, army suit, tan shirt, black tie. And you can pick out from several types of heads and color, hair colors, glasses, no glasses. But we'll show you shortly which ones I picked out. So let's take a look at the articulation. So you can see the neck here, the head will be on a ball joint here, but there's no articulation at the neck. The arms are on 360. We'll go 360. They go out and up that much. The actual elbows do bend. Not quite 90 degrees, but almost. Very close. So there is some wrist articulation here. They do rotate 360 all the way around on both hands. And they do have an up and down slightly. This one has it also, but it's even slighter. Of a, um, it's more down than it's up. There is some nice... Articulation. There's waist articulation here, but it's kind of hindered because of the jacket. The figure does sit relatively nice, even though it has the yeah, the suit jacket there. It is a nice grade of plastic that is flexible enough to bend, but not to you know get that plastic wear. Um, the figure goes out. This much in a split, and then goes pretty much that much for a frontward split. The knees are double jointed, as you can see. When you want to bend these knees, you want to watch. You just want to grab as close as you can. So you get one bend there, and the other bend there. Both legs, same articulation at the knees, as you can see. Very nice. And the knees do have like a soft ratcheting type um, sound and feel to them. The feet do pivot down about that much. They will rotate 360 if you need them to. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to break the figure. But it's there for you if you want to do it. If you want backwards foot character, I don't know why, but if you would. But it's there for your option. And you do go side to side. Again, it will, it will go 360, but the way the pants are there, I mean, if you manipulate it enough and you want to do that, it's, you can do that also. So let's take a uh, nice 360 look at this piece before we move on. Like I said, this is 118 scale figure. Okay, so. Um, Let's go ahead and show you this. So when I got this figure, I had to heat up the joints. They're very stiff and 
I mean, it took a lot of force to move them. As you can see, I can move them pretty good now because I have heated up the joints. But this, this is sent to you with your figure from Marauder Task Force or Gun Runners, whatever you want to call them. Basically, tell you to heat up your figure. You can pause and read that if you like. And they also send this along if this is something that you um, want to read. And this is basically telling you that you heat up your figures so you don't break them. Warm up the joints. They even highlight it for you. I'll try to get that in frame. If you can pause and read it right there. But remember guys to heat up your figures before you play with the joints. So I thought I'd share that with you. So the head I chose to go on this figure is basically this head here. It's a black head. It's a black hair. And it has black glasses. We'll be able to take a look at the head better. My finger's out of the way once we get it onto the figure. So, but if you want this head, this is labeled as male head miles light skin tone with aviator sunglasses and black hair 118 scale mtf accessory for three and three fourth inch action figures so that is that piece so what i'm going to do after he reheat this head so we can get it on the body so we're going to do that real quick if you just bear with me here So we can lose some of that plastic. So all we're going to do is just basically push it straight on. You hear that pop? And we got it on. Looking all good. And I'm going to take the hair dryer one more time just to make sure we get it nice and warm. Is still a little bit of creaking, but that's okay. That's not anything that's giving me a lot of friction to where it's not going to break. That'll just eventually go away with play. Or you can heat it a couple more times if you prefer. So here's a close up of the head. So that's what that looks like. What you have the head on. And you can choose any color hair with glasses, without glasses. And you can uh, build any kind of character on. There's even female heads if you can find female suited. I don't think there's a female suit for Green Army. There are female suit figures, but not of a call in the green. So the third part of this is going to be, the part is going to be listed as headgear. Officer's cap, dress hat, green version, 118 scale modular, MTF accessory for 3 and 3 foot inch action figures. And this is what that looks like. So I'm going to put that right on his head. And it fits perfectly snug. 
on there. So I kind of was going for maybe like a general for my upcoming Joy Toy World War II U.S. Army set that I'll be doing a review for, so keep a lookout for that. But because, unfortunately, they don't have any of the medals or ranking here on his jacket. You know, his, any of his achieve, achievements. Or maybe you can buy some, you know, decals or wet stickers or to put on if you can find them. I haven't looked yet, but it's basically what a dressed army soldier would look like without, you know, his rank on his arms or... It's just a green army jacket. But overall, it's a pretty cool figure. On the figure itself, it's like $11.99. I don't recall what I paid for the, the hat. You had to pay for the hat and the head and the body separate. I want to say it's like around 15 bucks for the whole figure. Give or take. You know, very, very close to $15. Two bucks for the head, you know, a buck or two for the hand. So I'm pretty sure it's off 15 ish. But you can check that out. I will put down the three descriptions in the, in the descriptions if you want to go ahead and, you know, create this figure also for your, for your collection. That way you can just look for those three different part types. So for some comparisons here. Here's what it looks like with Scarlet. G.I. Joe Scarlet. It's pretty nice. Here, what he, here's what it looks like with a Boris Recon Joy Toy figure. Very cool. I'm going to step back. And here he is with John Wick. This is also a Marauder Task Force creation. So, if you want to look that up, I have also a review up for the John Wick. And so, take a look for that if you're interested. Okay, we're going to put those guys back here. So, I'll spend too much time trying to. Stand them up. So that's how they scale together with G.I. Joe and Joy Toy. And if you're interested, Vince has a Moff Gideon Star figure. He's kind of on the short end of the you know team there. He's even actually shorter than Scarlet. So. Pretty cool. Um, definitely worth, uh, you know, the money. Because you get to some pretty nice articulation, nice quality problem, materials, and a nice look. Now, obviously, you can call this character anything you want. I'm going to, go, I'm going to use him as a, you know, a general for, like I said, my Joel Toy set. So, I haven't picked out a name. I just, I'm not sure. I still got to figure out what I want to do about the rankings. So, but I just wanted to show you guys how cool this is. Now, he did this one. He did the figure offline, um, not in the video, but in the John Wick um, review, I do have the you know I went ahead and showed everybody how to heat up your joints 
pretty pretty thoroughly so um, if you want to see how I did that outside you know I showed you guys the head uh, but you want to see how I heated up the joints the elbows the arms, shoulders and the knees and the ankles check out the John Wick video and uh, you'll be able to see how I did that with the hair dryer so hope you guys like this video if you do Please consider subscribing. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.